grass field. It's reed canary grass, and it's cool season grass. So in late summer, early fall, it falls to the ground, and you can uh, see that that is all flat down on the ground. And we laid them uh, along here. These are just dead trees that we cut down, and we wanted to create a path here where deer would feel comfortable moving through here. And you can see how well trodden this is. There's lots of deer tracks, and there's lots of deer tracks on this trail right here. I shot two bucks in this area in these two grass fields this year. They both ran to my neighbors to die, but that first buck that I shot was using this trail, and he came up here, and there was another buck, and they were chasing a couple of doe families, and he stood up on this trail for about 45 minutes. I couldn't shoot him, but he felt more comfortable in here. He wasn't chasing because it was a hot doe. The younger buck was chasing, and finally he got tired of it, and he came over here, and he walked across there. So this worked for me. In one season, I took this reed canary grass field, and I made this cover. These grasses grow up into these branches and they don't fall down. And if you're a deer, you feel really comfortable in here because that's right at your eye level. And if you look just right down that way, this is all cover in here now. Last year, this was just like that out there. It was uh, just flat. They had a little cover to their right here with some of these uh, willows and uh, red osier dogwoods that are over here. But what we want is for willows and red osier dogwoods to grow in a wider path here so the deer feel comfortable all the way through here. So what we did, the other thing, is we came over here and we planted willow sticks in here. And there's a bunch of them in here. They're all marked in orange. And most of these sprouted this year. Uh, this is damp ground uh, all year round, so I, I stuck these in the ground. I just cut off the willow sticks and stuck them in the ground, and most of them got leaves on them. So over the next uh, two or three years, this is all going to grow up and make a great um, pathway. And of course, it ends up right next to my tree over there for a bow shot. 